Hello, YouTube Pipe Community and Rumble Pipe Community. I am Chris. And I'm Paul. And this is Pipes of Old. That was good. Thanks. <laughs> All right. You, you can take the next part. Okay. We're switching it up today. <laughs> so we're going to do our tobacco tasting. And today's blend is Aberrant, one of the Birds of the Feather series. So we'll crack it open. Yeah. And we'll see what our tin note smells like. Wow. Let's see if this one works this time. Hmm. Let you get a look at it. Take the whiff of that. And we downloaded the uh, flavor wheel so we can try to identify some of these things a little more accurately, hopefully. So we'll be back here in just a flash. Here in just a flash. <laughs> That was probably quicker for you than it is for us. So on our 10 note, what'd you say you got, Chris? Um, well, we've, we've been using this wheel to try to help us narrow down some of the smells and flavors we get. And uh, with the 10 note, I got smoked, like a toasted smoked smell and there was a sweet, and I think the sweet smell for me was like licorice or possibly maybe leather, but definitely I would say licorice and smoked. Smoked is very pronounced. For me, I got the, uh, the smoked and I got the kind of the earthy peat smell, I thought. And also uh, a little bit of leather in that. So that was our 10 note that we got. Before we uh, get going too quick on this, I'm smoking my little Rossi note. And today I'm smoking the Nording Compass. Uh, international Pipe Smoking Day. Yep. It's International Pipe Smoking Day. Hopefully y'all are enjoying that yourself. Chris was able to make it down for this tobacco tasting so we could celebrate it together. What do you get out of the smoke, Chris? So we smoked for a good minute to try to give it time to change as it may. Um, as far as the smoke, um, I got like a woody kind of uh, flavor. I don't chew on wood, so I don't know exactly what what kind of wood. There's a list of woods here. Maybe oak, but it's a woody flavor. And I think I also get, I still get a little bit of the licorice. Not very much. It's like very subtle. Um, and I think toasted bread. Um, I don't know if I'd call it smoky, like I, like I smelled. Uh, I think it's more of like a toasted, like bready kind of flavor. Yep, yeah, I'd agree with that on the toasting. And I also get a little bit of the spice from uh, the licorice, I believe. It's probably the closest thing we can come up with on that. I think there's still a little bit of the leathery that's coming through in the uh, smoke of it also. All right, so something we probably should have mentioned a little bit earlier was the moisture level in the tin when we started breaking it apart and uh, packing our pipes, it seemed a little bit dry, but when you did the test and you smashed it together, it would, it would spring back. Yeah, so not, not super noticeably moist or like it wasn't sticky or anything like that and it wasn't crunchy either so it was probably pretty close just a little bit drier maybe than expected 
Um, and then the, uh, the mouth feel, like the strength of it, it feels like a more full smoke, um, at least to me. Um, a lot of the tobaccos I think are real, it's more light and airy where you don't really notice that you have smoke in your mouth. With this, I think you definitely notice that it's a lot stronger. When you think about the nicotine hit, you're more in tune with that. I don't really know. I haven't, like, I haven't noticed the nicotine taste or anything like I did that one time where I could, like, the nicotine feeling in my mouth. I haven't noticed with this. So probably down, down south of the medium line then. Yeah, probably. We're probably about halfway down through our bowls at this point. Yep. What would you say as far as a rating? Okay, so we're going to do out of 10. I would probably get this one a seven and a half. Personally, I like sweeter tobaccos. Um, this one, not super sweet. I think it has a pleasant taste and uh, I, yeah, I think it, it tastes good and, but it's just more muted and like kind of more subtle flavors, nothing crazy like cherry or anything like that kicking out at me. But I think a lot of people would enjoy it and I definitely like the strength of it. I like the more heavy tobaccos. Um, I think it smells better just wafting up from the pipe. Uh, so I don't think non-smokers are typically enjoy the room note, but I think if you're a smoker and you had somebody walking down the street puffing on this, I think you'd pick up on that and it'd be a pleasant smell to a, to a pipe smoker, I think. What do you and think? My rating? I think I'm going to go with uh, six and a half. Just for the reason of, uh, I'm not sure this would be one in my normal rotation. Not really because it's bad, it's just my whole mouth seems kind of tingly from it. That might be the nicotine. It might be. Or just the, mine has been burning kind of hot. As yours? The bowl's not too bad. My bowl's not bad, but the smoke. Um, yeah, the smoke in the mouth is definitely, definitely on the warmer side. So if any of you have uh, tried this tobacco, the Aberrant, um, it'd be great if you could let us know what you guys thought of it in the comments, just so we can see what the popular opinion may be. See how close we might've got to you guys. And I'd like to mention again that April 29th and 30th, me and Chris will be at the Chicago Pipe Show. Gonna make an appearance up there again. Dad will be signing autographs. <laughs> if any of you guys are gonna be making the trip up there, I'd appreciate maybe leave a comment below for that too. That way we can uh, have an idea of who to keep an eye out for while we're there. Be nice to meet more of you guys in person. So that'll wrap up our uh, tobacco tasting for this week for the International Pipe Smoking Day. I hope you all had a great day, enjoyed your smoking. Appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, turn it black so you get notifications when I post new videos, and please hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Hopefully you have a blessed week and pipe, pipe on. on.